All right, guys, welcome to another video. Western Sharp is RC. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. i uh, really excited, guys, to share with you this uh, latest acquisition of mine. It's this 14th scale Tamiya flatbed trailer that I picked up off a buddy of mine. We worked out a trade where I built him three uh, custom wood reels for his uh, B train project. And then in exchange, he gave me this old, uh, this old girl that he had kicking around. So you can hear about those squeaks. It's an old girl. So, um, Really excited I got my hands on one of these things. I've always wanted to get into the uh, 14 scale Tamiya stuff, the semi stuff. I drove truck for many years, so uh, uh, kind of nice having one of these things. I'm not going to get a semi to pull it around with. Instead, I'm just going to use it to display my scale cargo that I've been working on. If you guys have been following along, I've built a whole uh, schwack of uh, items for, uh, for basically for my 6x6 flatbed here that I'm working on as well. So. Um, I thought it'd look kind of cool displayed on the trailer so I thought I'd do a little before video of the trailer and then when I get it all finished up I'm gonna add a few little details to it like some some lights and then uh, maybe add a little bumper on the back here I want to kind of keep it cheap I don't want to spend too much money on this thing but uh, I do have these little faux uh, crankcase and handles that I made out of an old uh, brake housing I think this was from a cross RC vehicle um, but I think it was from the Demon, but you can kind of see it turned out pretty good. I, I have a little bit of footage I'll, I'll add on to the end of this video if you guys want to see how I put this thing together. It's nothing, nothing special, but uh, if you want to get some ideas for your own, uh, your own trailers, your own build, you might, uh, might want to check that out. So basically, it's going to get attached to the dolly legs here. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, it's too dark in there. Plus me shaking around doesn't help. So I'll get some better footage down the road, guys, but you get the idea. Um, I think those look pretty good. Other than that, maybe some reflective tape down the side. I got some uh, laminated stuff that I printed off, nothing special. And uh, that's pretty much it for this thing. And then I got the six by six here. That's kind of coming along nicely. I've just picked up you know what, I'll show you guys these two while I'm at it. I built these little A-frames. Uh, like I said, my, on my page there, you can see all the inventory that I have, the entire selection. I just started working on these things. Um, these are gonna look really good, I think. They're, uh, they're gonna be used to haul some granite slabs around. When you see guys hauling uh, countertops and uh, slabs of granite or, or glass and stuff like that, they use these A-frames. So I just built some simple ones out of balsa wood that I think turned out pretty good, so. Um, Eventually, they'll be on my Facebook page as well when I finish getting those things done. But uh, as far as the 6x6 is concerned, guys, I've, I've just picked up this motor speed controller. I'm not going to do a review on this thing. There's already enough of those out there on YouTube. But I really like this. Uh, if you've seen this before from Hobbywing, it's, it's got all the nice things of that, uh, that the, uh, the Axe has, that FOC technology. But the nice thing about this is that it's a, it's a speed controller and motor built in one. So... It's basically replaces having the, uh, you know, the, the separate ESC a box, and and it's it's like a equivalent to a 550 size can. So, if you're tight for space, which I am on this build, because I think all my electronics are gonna have to fit somehow in there. So I don't really want to be mounting too much stuff. I got a battery, a, a speed controller. So instead, I'll have the. Uh, just the motor speed controller back there behind the R2 transmission and uh, it'll free up some space over here for the uh, uh, the receiver and the uh, and the battery so that'll work out pretty good a lot cheaper too than that hobby wing axe system so <coughs> excuse me so eventually I'll get that stuff going I'll, uh, I'll throw a part four or five video up whatever we're at with the uh, six by six if you've been following along but uh, right now I'm kind of working on this thing here. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thought I'd do a little video and just, uh, oh, you know what? Well, we got the battery fired up. Let's have a little look-see inside. You can kind of see. I know you guys have seen it before, but. I'm really excited uh, to get this thing in the back of a, a proper RC truck one of these days. Unfortunately, there's really nothing that exists that I know of that would uh, work for this camper, just uh, all the, the, the dimensions. 
um, something that would clear the uh, wheel wells and then clear the side of the uh, the box and then this dimension as well to clear the cab so the only thing I found out there that would kind of work for this thing would be the uh, RC four-wheel drive blazer uh, but even that thing uh, the, the beds a little short for this so um, eventually I'll, I'll figure something out right now I got too many things on the go uh, things are kind of adding up price wise getting expensive but uh, I'm having a good time, really enjoying it. Uh, I do want to thank all the subscribers, guys. Uh, just cracked 500, which is, uh, you know, amazing for me as far as I'm concerned. I would have never thought I would have uh, have this many people interested in the channel. So uh, I'll keep doing what I do. Uh, I'm glad you guys find this stuff entertaining or, or informative. So um, anyway, guys, that's that's pretty much it. Thought I'd do a little short video. Uh, check out that Facebook page down. Uh, I'll put the link down below where you can uh, pick up some of the items. And uh, other than that, guys, we'll, we'll see you in the next video.